Today I'm going to show you how to make a free custom pop-up for WordPress using this simple free plugin. To install the plugin, we want to scroll down to plugins, click add new, we want to search for pop-up maker. And you see here pop-up maker by pop-up maker, it's got a little green cog and the stars around it. We install and activate. And of course we get taken here, we can hit create our first pop-up. However, if you want to do this again sometime, you may want to consider knowing that the step is to go there on the left here to pop-up maker, and then clicking on that. What you'll see here is we've got uh, an example pop-up ready to go. But before we even create a pop-up, I highly recommend going in first and setting up a pop-up theme. So that way when you publish your pop-up, it's already styled. So I'm gonna go in here to pop-up themes and I can choose one of these to edit. So you can actually have a look. So we've got here framed border. You can see how that one looks. It actually looks not too bad. We can go back, floating bar, content only, enterprise blue. See, that doesn't look too bad. So let's stick with that. Let's play, that, play around with that. But we're gonna call this one enterprise test or something like that just to change it up. And you see we've got the overlay in the background here. I can change that overlay to a different color if I want to, make it really stand out. Um, I still think black's probably the best choice. You can change the opacity to make it a little more or less transparent. Uh, and you can go through and style various elements of this pop-up. So for example, the padding. If you were using the Divi theme, uh, which uh, I'm gonna sort of touch on, just mention a few things as I go, you want that padding to be zero so that your design goes right to the edge of the pop-up. For now, we're gonna bring that up Border radius, we can enhance that to curl it a bit, uh, get some cool uh, effects that way. The background, we can change that. I'm gonna change this to something a little different. I'm gonna go so like a dark, like a dark gray color. And we can't really see the text, but we'll fix that up soon. I can make the opacity transparent as well, but I don't recommend that just because you wanna be able to read the text. If you wanna add background images, you do have to get the pro version, but I'll link to that in the description below. Under border, we can add a solid border if we want to, thicken that up. You can see there it's black, but let's make it something like green, something that's gonna be really ugly and outstanding that's gonna grab attention. Or well, just a straight yellow, that'll do. And we can still have a drop shadow. We can change how much the drop shadow blurs. We can change the position and of course the opacity so it's stronger. So you've got a few different things here. You can actually have an inset inner shadow if you want to do that as well. I actually think that doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to do that, bring the blur up a bit, give us a bit of a faded look. And of course the title, we can now work on getting this title the way we want it to look. I want the color to be yellow so it stands out. With font family, we can choose to just simply use what our, font, our, our theme is using or we can choose something here. Maybe if it has a Google font, we'll choose something like Poppins pump the weight up and we've got a nice thick font there, which is actually what we have with the theme anyway. Style, we can make it italic. You can do the usual things, left, center, right alignment. You get the idea. We can work with our text to make it look the way we want to and even add a shadow. So I can add a blur if I want to, bring that opacity up and even give it a shadow. Or if I really want to, make it yellow, give it a glow, bring that opacity back a bit. So now we have a bit of a glow effect, which I don't like, but for the sake of video, we'll keep it in there. The content text is almost impossible to read, so let's make that white. And uh, once again, we can choose a different font. I'm just gonna bring the thickness up to 400 so it's easy to read. Um, and again, a few other bits and pieces there. We can also style the close button. So at the moment, it's an X. So I can put whatever text I want in here. I can change the location. I can make it bottom right if I want to, do something weird like that. Top right's probably best. I can even move it a little bit if I want to. I can reverse it, move it out a little bit so it's just sitting on the tip right there in the corner. The size, I can make the padding larger, but I don't really want to do that. I want to keep it where it was because it kind of messes with the look of it. So I can change all these other things here. I can make it a square by bringing that border radius back. I want it to be a circle. I'm going to make the background here match up with our border, go yellow. And I can also take the font, make that black. So the font is the X. I can also make that thick as well. So we get a nice thick X. So you sort of get the idea. The border, we can add a border if we want to as well. So solid, white. You can see it's just kind of there, but if I thicken it right up, it appears. We get a border. I think it looks better without the border. So if you get down to the bottom here and it gets to one, just hit minus again, it'll take it to zero. 
And of course, drop shadow again, we can adjust our drop shadow, bring that opacity up, bring the blur up and create like a real drop shadow around that there. And of course we can add a shadow to the text and we can really style this up. So this is pretty much the styling of our theme. We've styled every element of the pop-up to the way we want it to look and it's called Enterprise Test. So I'm actually gonna to go to Update and now we've styled the pop-up, let's create a new pop-up. We can either go to All Pop-ups and create from there or just simply create a pop-up here. Again, if you're using the Divi theme, you can turn on the Divi Builder here and use the Divi Builder to actually create your pop-up there. Uh, a lot of my audience does have the Divi theme, so I thought I'd just quickly mention that. But I'm going to give this a title. It's going to call it Test. We can say something like get a free quote or something. I don't know. Get a free quote, exclamation mark. And we can add whatever we want down here. We can add in a ninja form if we want to. So we've got forms here. Uh, if I go to text, I can paste in HTML code and things like that. So if you have any uh, widgets or things you want to embed from other websites, you can kind of get away with that too. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, and now we have that there. Also, I can add in media like images, that kind of thing. So if I want to put uh, create an image for a button, I can do that, add a link to the contact page or something like that. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna keep it pretty basic and just say, click here, highlight that, add my link, contact us. And I'm going to center align it all. So you can really do a lot with this. I highly recommend if you know any CSS or HTML, you can always turn that into a button under text here by adding that in as code. Otherwise, you can simply create a button using Canva or Photoshop, add that media and just simply link off to a page that way. So you've got a few options of styling the content within just by adding it in here. But just with this basic text, we've got a pretty reasonable looking pop-up already. So what I'm gonna do is I can save a draft as I go. So if you haven't set up your theme, you can always save a draft, go back to style your theme and then come back and keep working. For now, the trigger. I'm going to add a new trigger. I'm going to call it this way, click to open. So let's just say click to open and click add. Now, if you want to get more advanced, you can add in some selectors here that'll allow you to apply things to HTML and make that trigger work. That's a, I'll go through that another video maybe, but um, we can, we're happy to leave this as it is for now. Just a simple click open trigger. On close, uh, we've got a cookie. It'll basically, if I go here, if I go here to edit, if someone closes this, it'll actually not show again for a month. So if I actually click close, it won't show for a month. If they just leave the page without closing the pop-up, it will show again. So you have the option to change that duration if you want to as well. So we can just simply say something like three days. You can make it a site-wide cookie or a session cookie. Um, so it's really, um, you've got a few options there to play with. The session cookie means if they leave and start a new session, it'll be completely different. Uh, it'll all reset again, I believe. That's basically the, the go there. So targeting, we can choose a particular page to put this on. I can disable it on mobile phones, tablets. Now display, I can have it show up in the center or in the corner. I'm gonna go center. And under appearance, I can choose my theme enterprise test and all of the styling we did before is now in there and we can then go through to size choose to make the pop-up bigger or smaller depending on so you can make it 60% of the screen or 95% of the screen we can give it a minimum width like a pixel width so if we don't want it to be any thinner than 500 pixels we can do that however that might play up on phone so we're just going to leave that for now uh, a lot of the default settings are actually not too bad you can have it fade in or slide in or fade and slide. You can make the animation a little longer. You can even play a sound. Don't recommend doing that. Position, you can have it position it anywhere on the screen you want to. So top right, middle, so right in the center. Uh, you can position it near the trigger itself. So you've got a few options there as to where you want the actual pop-up to appear. And under advanced, you can disable the overlay, um, enable other pop-ups to appear on top of it, and you get a little bit more advanced down here. So once again, we've got some close. So we can close on form submission. So if someone submits a form on that pop-up, it will close. 
there's alternate methods. So click the overlay to close, click escape to close. You can choose those, put those on as well. So you've got a, you get, you've got a fair few options there. And a few other advanced settings here. So, you know, automatic re-triggering of the pop-up after a non-AJAX form submission. I'm not really quite sure how to go over that with you guys right now, but we've basically got a pop-up set up and ready to go, styled the way we want to, and it's set to click. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click publish. And now if I want to trigger that by click, I'm gonna go up here to a new page. Use my default. I'm gonna just put in test here. And I'm gonna say click for pop-up. So just putting some text in here. I highlight this, add a link. I'm just gonna say hash. But uh, what's really cool, now I have this over here, there's a pop-up control section on the right. So I can choose a pop-up test, which is uh, the one we just created, and I can now preview this page. And now when I click for pop-up, our pop-up appears. And it's actually <laughs> left aligned, so I wanna go back into my theme and make that center aligned, but you get the idea. I can click here to send them off to the uh, contact page. So. The next one is just setting up a simple time trigger. So someone lands on the page, you give them a certain amount of time and it pops up. So what I'm gonna do, quickly tab back. I'm gonna create a new pop-up. I'll call this one timed. And I'm just gonna say, hello. And add some information in there nice and easy. And uh, I'm gonna go down to my triggers, add a new trigger, and I'm just gonna have it time delay. And I'm gonna actually, just for the sake of this, we can have it prevent if a new visitor pops along, but I'm actually gonna turn that off for the sake of the video. Click add. And where it says delay, we can slide that across. It's at half a second now. We can make it 3000 MS, which will be three seconds, but I'm just gonna leave it that for the sake of the video. Click add. And I'm just gonna publish this one quickly. So by changing that trigger to time delay, you can change the pop-up. Now, when you edit existing pop-up, sometimes it can be a bit buggy. I do recommend just starting a whole new pop-up when you do this one. But I'm gonna actually go out to the main website. Pop-up is enabled. Uh, also, one thing we should do is go to display, appearance, and choose our enterprise test. Update. I'm gonna go back to the home page, And you can see our pop-up has appeared. Like I said, I do recommend starting a new one if you can change that trigger. I don't know why, but I have had some issues otherwise. But that's essentially how anyone in WordPress can build a customized pop-up. You can put forms in there, images, information, anything you want, you can basically build in WordPress. And again, if you're using the Divi theme, you can build a Divi layout within that page. So a pretty cool plugin that's totally free. There's also a premium version with some premium features, but uh, the free one is pretty powerful. So that's the video for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.